Wow, that cake looks fantastic. Did you bake it yourself, Jacob? Oh, but those glasses leave much to be desired. Seems your dishwasher can't handle the hard water. Don't worry, that's a quick fix. First, rinse them under running water. Then dip them in a bowl of water mixed with vinegar. That's it, shiny as new. And it only took a couple of seconds. You can pour that rosé wine now without worrying about smudge glasses. Jacob will remember next time. Enjoy your delicious dessert. Here's the before and after. What if your dishwasher just can't handle old grease? It happens more often than you think. You can use something we all have in our kitchen. Cut a potato in half and dip it in salt. Now rub the greasy edges until the grease is gone. To think that is an old pot? Who would have guessed? Jessica is doing chores all weekend to get those clothes nicely stacked and wrinkle-free. Phew, are you finishing up, girl? Even she can't handle that ginormous amount of summer clothes. This will take the whole evening. Unless we make something that will help us get through this a bit faster. Take a flat sheet of cardboard and cut it into these six pieces like this. Then tape them together like that. Now lay a t-shirt, fold the right wing, the left wing, and now fold the bottom. Ta-da! Wow, Jessica, that cardboard folding machine is a real wonder. It took her just a few minutes to fold all these clothes. How did we survive all this time without it? Yes, 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 time to get that bike back on track. The wheels need a bit of adjusting. Oh, Jacob, you left your tools on a wet cloth and now they're all rusty. Fixing your bike with this will be no fun at all. If your metal tools get a bit rusty, take a high glass or a vase and pour a whole bottle of beer inside. No, it's not for drinking. Put the rusty tools into the beer and leave overnight. You still can't drink it, especially now. In the morning, your tools will be shiny and new, and the rust gone as if it were never there. Now that's proper gear to adjust those knobs. Just look at the difference before and after. With such a sparkly, shiny toolbox, you can totally repair your precious two-wheeler. Probably most of us have burned a pot at least once in our lives. Pour some soap. You can use an eco-friendly one. Add water and a dryer sheet. Let it sit for 10 hours. If you have a pot as burned as that one, that is. Pour out all that's left, give it a quick rinse, and enjoy your shiny new pot. So you're sitting in a meeting, eating lunch when suddenly, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. You can still spare yourself a visit to a carpet store if you have shaving foam nearby. Spray it, rub it in, then just wipe it off and the carpet's good as new. Yet another burned pan. What was that even supposed to be? Well, whatever it was, our good Coca-Cola will take care of it. Now just rinse as usual and you're ready to fry some more. Remember that doll, matte cutlery you have lying around in your drawers? Too ugly to be used by anyone but yourself over a quick snack? Leave the dull cutlery sunken in coke for a couple of hours and see how it revives that old shine. Makes you wonder what you're actually drinking, doesn't it? You burned your pan again. Wow, don't let Gordon Ramsay into your house. This time, cut some celery and drop it on the burn stain. Add water, boil, and see the magic happen. It does not only work, it's also our most eco-friendly way of cleaning a pan. Once again, rinse, wipe, repeat. But eyes on the oven this time. Say you need to quickly paint over a wall stain, but don't feel like washing the whole paint tray all over again. Just cover it with foil and use as intended. Don't worry, it won't rip. Finished? Then just roll up the foil and forget the washing. Want to paint around a specific thing but have no painting tape? Aluminum foil is your best friend. 
What a fantastic contrast! Garden tools get stained very quickly. Why not try cleaning them up with a wet ball of aluminum foil? Wipe off the dripping dirt with a paper towel and there you go. A completely eco-friendly way of cleaning gardening tools. You can use foil wrapped in a ball to clean your silverware too. Just boil some water, add two big spoons of baking soda, and drop the ball in. Then dip in the dirty silverware and see the difference. There are obviously some chemicals you can buy and make the cleaning faster, but are they really that good after all? Let's make some unicorn poop bath bombs. One cup of soda, half a cup of citric acid, a quarter cup of cornstarch, three tablespoons of coconut oil, and some essential oil of your choice. Imagine strawberry, ooh! Mix it all until you get the consistency of wet sand. Divide it into four bowls and add cosmetic colorants to each. We assume food coloring won't do, unless you want to get out of that bath looking rainbow dashing. Once you've mixed those in, it's time to put them in a poop-shaped silicone form, one after another. Make sure you don't ruffle those layers. Press them in a little bit and freeze. Once that's done, take them out and sprinkle with biodegradable glitter. You don't want any plastic floating around in your bathtub, do you? Drop one of those in the bath and watch it go off like a firecracker. Wonder why unicorn poop reacts to water like that? Maybe they feed on chili peppers. <laughs> hey, crafty pandas. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Om and bow. Okay, that's enough meditation for today. Let's finish our stretching session with a nice hot cup of herbal tea. It smells great. Jessica, the kettle's already boiling. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right. When was the last time you decalced your kettle, Jess? It looks like rotten milk in there. Ugh. Good thing we can treat it with a fast and natural remedy. If your kettle is full of lime scale, pour in a glass of vinegar. Even the cheapest one will do. Fill the rest of the kettle with water all the way up to the maximum and boil. If you remember from chemistry classes, vinegar dissolves calcium, the main ingredient of that nasty lime scale. Just pour out and rinse. Looking good already. But let's try it one more time, just to make sure there is no residue. Perfect, your herbal tea is now crystal clear, just like Jessica's tranquil thoughts. They say that every man's true love is his car. But what about her glorious eyes, Jacob? Got anything useful in your glove box? Only some basic hygiene necessities. I wonder if there's a big difference between car lights and teeth. Grab a piece of cloth and put some of that toothpaste onto it. Wow, it seems it actually works. Even I can see my own reflection over there. <laughs> Stand tall and proud, buddy. You deserve it. Hey there. Check out my awesome card that looks like new, but isn't because it was just cleaned a moment ago. Right. The girls are rocking their art class. And as always, Jess will focus on fashion as much as she can. Wait, what's that? It looks like Jessica stained her palm with graphite. This can get messy pretty fast and removing it can be a struggle. Any ideas, Emily? Not sure if this napkin will be enough, darling. Luckily for us, Emily remembered she has a pack of lip balm close by. Simply apply some lip balm on your skin, give it a minute to soak in, and use a cloth or a napkin to brush it off. Whoa, that's amazing! Taking it off was almost zero hassle. Wow, Jacob. You might be having a serious plumbing problem. That bathroom totally doesn't smell like teen spirit. Take a bowl and put in one cup of baking soda. 
Add a quarter of a cup of citric acid. Add one tablespoon of dish soap. Stir it up nicely until you get a solid mass. Then take a little in your hand and put it in a silicon ice mold. Press it firmly to get rid of all the excess air. Now just let it dry. Ah, seems like now you're prepared to fight the danger with the most effective weapon of all, self-made toilet cubes. Steady? Okay, go! Now just wait for the soda to react with citric acid and flush. Your job here is done. All in a day's work for the handyman. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these life hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.